Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS basic mold tutorial. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is open the part that you made to be molded. In this case it's called part base. It's a little refrigerator magnet with holes in it to hold markers. Once your part's open, you're going to want to select the features of your model and put them into their own folder just to reduce clutter in the feature tree. In this case we'll just call it part. Next, you want to make sure that you have your surfaces and mold tools toolbars available. If you don't, you can go to View, Toolbars, click on Surfaces, Repeat, and go to Mold, tool, mold Tools. Now you're going to want to insert a mold folder so that everything from this point on is part of your mold. Now when creating a plastic injection molded part, as the part cools, it shrinks a little bit due to temperature, the pressure and the type of plastic used. So we're going to scale this up just a tiny bit so that when it shrinks it's the right size. Use the scale tool, centroid, and we're going to scale it up 0.02. Looks good. Now I'm going to save the part under a different name so that any modifications I'm making don't get saved to the original model. We're going to call it part base mold. There we go. Now we want to establish a parting line, so we'll select the parting line tool. It's right there. And we'll select a surface that is perpendicular to the direction of pull, as indicated by the small arrow. Right there. We're going to use draft analysis at 2%, or 2 degrees, I'm sorry, because that's the angle I drew the part at so that the mold would separate. Draft analysis shows us what surfaces will come apart from the mold. Green is good. Red is bad, but that's on the opposite side of the part, so that doesn't matter. And those little blue holes, we'll have to fill those in. We'll plug those in just a moment. Selected my party line for me, parting line for me on the bottom edge. That looks good. I'm going to select OK. Now, to plug those holes, we're going to select shutoff surfaces. SolidWorks does a pretty good job of finding the holes that need to be plugged, but if they're not all picked, you might have to go back and select an edge or two yourself. SolidWorks is going to use the all contact patch type, which means that the surface that's created goes and completely touches the edge around it. Looks good. Next, we're going to create a parting surface where the parting line is. This is the place where the two mold halves will come together. I'm going to go to my parting surfaces tool and it created the surface going inward. I'm going to flip that around and make it go outward. There we go. Select perpendicular to pull. OK. Now we're going to draw an axis as a reference in our next step. I want it to be in the center of the part. And the way I drew the part in the center of the drawing area, I should be able to create an axis at the intersection of my front and right planes. There we go. Now I want to make an interlocking surface for the two mold halves to help guide them together every time. So I'm going to make a ruled surface off of the edge of the parting surface. I'm going to rule the surface tapered towards the axis that I drew for reference. Select ruled surface, taper to vector, which will be the axis. Got to make sure that the arrow indicates it's going the right direction. And we'll stick it down 0.11. I'll show you why in just a minute. Now I'm going to want to make a plane where the mold comes together with the other half of the mold. So I'm going to reference it off my top plane. And I'm going to have it drop down 0.1 inches below my top plane. Switch direction. That way it'll intersect with that ruled surface that came down 0.11 inches. Just 
a tiny bit of overhang there. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle on that plane that encompasses my entire part. And sketch, rectangle, center, and drag it out past the edges. I'm going to exit sketch. I'm going to turn that rectangle into a planar surface using my surfaces toolbar. It selects the last sketch for me. Sketch 25. Looks good. OK. Now we're going to use the trim tool, trim surfaces, and we're going to use the plane as the cutting tool. We're going to keep selections and select the upper part of the ring. Gonna trim it off flush with that plane. Looks good. Now we're going to want to work on our tooling split. This is the surface where the two mold halves will separate. I'm going to go down and select tooling split. And I'm going to make it on the plane that I previously created. Sketch 25. There we go. This creates a boundary around the rectangle that defines the outer edges of my mold. Now when I exit that sketch, it'll take me straight into the Mold Feature Manager. I'm going to select Interlock Surface. I'm going to make sure that my draft angle is the same as what I drew my part to, in this case 2 degrees. SolidWorks does a pretty good job picking these surfaces for you, but you might want to double check to make sure it has them all. Select OK, and it drops us straight into the mold. Now I can use my Insert Features, Move Copy, and I'll select the top half of the mold, and I'll move it up two inches. I can do the same thing with the bottom half of my mold and move it down two inches. And there you have the two halves of your mold. There's a little bit of protrusion stuck in there. We'll have to insert some cores on the side in the next video to show you how that works. Well, good luck and good mold making.